Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to finish up our movie app. So this is part two of our design to Protopie Studio. So in the last video, we created this design in Adobe XD. Now we're going to import it to Protopie and we're going to get this into a prototype. So let's go ahead and jump into Protopie and get started. All right, here inside of Protopie, I'm going to first select my device and set it to iPhone 10 and select OK. Then we can import our home artboard from Adobe XD home and I'm using all layer structure overwrite position of layers overwrite sizes of layers and then update layer orders and grouping structure and then import first thing I'm going to do is rename this rectangle underscore red and then for these symbols that is the menu the magnifying glass and then the grouping of the menu and the drop down icon I'm going to grab those and hit Command G, and we'll just name this Nav for navigation. For these two texts, I'm going to rename them each Rampage underscore TXT, and then Fantasy slash Science Fiction underscore TXT, so I know that's my text. For this image effect, we're actually going to have to recreate this image inside of Protopy, so I'm going to do that with a container. So I'll select Container, and then I'm going to call this Rampage underscore con for container then I'm going to drag this container around our current image I'll just drag that out and once I've done that I'm going to make sure that is centered by selecting this icon right here then I'm going to delete the rampage underscore 01 which is our original image then select image and then rampage underscore 01 and that will drag in the original image. I'm going to center that to the artboard. And then I'm going to name this rampage underscore image and drag that into our container. So if we select our container, we can now go to clip sublayers and you'll notice that clips that out. So if we scale this image up, I'm going to hold shift and alt and scale from the corner. You'll notice that it's clipping everything out. So I think that will look pretty good for now. Selecting the container, we can also add a border radius. I'm going to do that now, and we'll set that to 15. So there is our first card with its title. So now let's create our second page over here. To do that, I'm going to create a rectangle for the background. I'm going to make that the full height and width of the artboard. And let's change this to white. Rename this page to BG and let's drag that down to the bottom and then we'll drag this over to the side and make sure it touches the artboard like that we can then copy this image container and paste it and drag that over and then we also need to add our text we'll do that in a minute so this container is going to be for ready player one so RPO underscore CON and inside of that, I'm going to delete the Rampage image. I'm going to create a new image and grab my Ready Player One movie poster and then drag that to the center of this artboard. And then we can rename that RPO underscore image and drag it to its container. Then we can scale that up to about there. And that's what we need for that card. Now we need the title and the description of the genre. So we're going to import that into a separate scene. So add new scene. And then file, import Adobe XD CC. I'm going to select page 2 for my drop down and press import. Here all we need is the text. So I'm going to grab both of those, hit command C, switch back over to scene 1, and then paste that in. And then we're going to drag this to the center of this newly created rectangle. I'm going to double click on both of these and add underscore text to the end of them, just like we did with our other ones. And that's our second page finished. For our swiping back and forth, we're going to do that through paging. So I'm going to select container, paging container, and then we'll name this paging. I'm going to drag that to the full size of the artboard. And everything inside of here is going to be moving. 
So the first thing we need in here is our Ready Player One container. You'll see that disappear. And then we're going to need our page two background. And I'm actually gonna make sure that is in the correct order. So that needs to be in the very bottom. Then we're gonna need our text for that film. So we'll drag that in in between those two. Then we need a Rampage. I'll put that right above Ready Player One. And then we need its titles. And then everything else should be fine. So inside of paging, we have all of that. And if we click preview, if I swipe back and forth, you'll see what changes. So you'll see that this background right here is coming over top of this navigation and red BG. So to fix that, inside of paging, we're going to find page 2 BG and then drag the opacity to 0. So if I re-preview this, you'll see what we have now. So that is the first step to making this design look correct. So the first trigger we're going to add to this to make this more interesting is going to be a chain. And we're going to look at our paging group and then we're going to pay attention to the scroll value. So when that is scrolled, we want to first scale our images. So the first scale I'm going to create is going to be looking at our second image over here, our Ready Player One image, since that is the first one we'll see actually change when we swipe. So we'll select that image in the drop down. So RPO underscore image. Now for the range on this, I'm gonna go from zero to 375, which is the width of my artboard. So 375. The width, let's try 863 by 485 and see what happens. Let's preview this. Okay, we're getting a little bit of something happening. Um, I'm going to select that image and I'm going to change the origin to the center and see if that helps fix that. Yeah. So you'll see when we swipe, it zooms in to the correct size of the image. Nice. So now what we're going to do is add another scale and this is going to target this image with the rock. So on this scale, I need to select the rampage underscore image. I'm going to set the range from 375 to 0. On the width, I'm going to set that to 846 by 475. If we swipe back and forth, you'll see our image is doing the same thing the other one did. It's kind of sliding in from the corner, which is a pretty cool effect, but we don't want that. So over here in our layers, I'm going to select that image and then adjust the origin to the center by selecting that point. If we reload the preview, we should have that problem fixed which we do, so that's a pretty cool effect. So to add a little bit more to this, I'm gonna take the Rampage text and have that slide in, and I'm also gonna have the Ready Player One text slide in. So now we wanna move our text, so the first one I'm gonna select is the Ready Player One underscore text. I'm gonna select that layer, and our position is 461.5 by 640, so I'm gonna copy those values, select Move, and then paste those in here down at the bottom, 640 and 375. That is where we want it to be when we're on that page. So now at the start, or when we swipe back to that, we want to move that off the screen a ways. So I'm gonna adjust this to something like 55 and then 640. And we'll see what we get with that. So we've actually done it the opposite way of what we want. So we need to push it off this way. So to do that, I'm gonna select the move. And then instead of 55, we'll try 800 and see what happens there. You'll see that really slides in there. So that's probably too much. Let's just slightly decrease this to maybe 600. Yeah, that looks much better. So you'll see that kind of effect going there. That's just giving it a little bit of a different speed than everything else. So now we'll do that for a Rampage. So I'm going to duplicate this by hitting Command-C, Command-V. And then we'll select our Rampage underscore text. So I'm going to select that text in my layers and get the coordinates, which is 335, 333.5 by 640. And we'll input that as the default over here. So we'll put that in, 640. 
And then we're going to want that to, let's try 461, see what that does. Okay. So we want it to go over that way. So let's try zero. Yeah, that works. Okay. So zero looks pretty good. We have both of those kind of sliding at different speeds. That looks nice. Now we need our swipe up and swipe down effect. And then when we press the heart button. First for the swipe up, the trigger we're gonna need for that is a fling. And then I'm gonna select the container. So rampage underscore container. And then we'll add the up arrow for swipe up. Then we want to move our rampage underscore container up just a little bit. So let's grab the actual coordinates on that. So that is 151. Let's try something like 120. So if we go back over here into the move and put 120, let's see what happens. I need to go up a little bit higher. So let's try 100. So if we swipe up now, that's a pretty good distance. So we'll leave that alone. And then we can add another trigger. And this is going to be a fling looking at the rampage container. And this one's going to be down and it's going to put it back to its original position. So move and let's grab our rampage container. It's originally at 151. So we'll input that for the Y. And when we swipe down, it should go back into place. So we swipe up and then we swipe down. Perfect. I'm going to create a new scene and then I'm going to import our swipe up screen. Here we have our heart and our trailers. I'm going to copy that and go back to scene one and paste that in and you'll see it gives us the same position. Then we can group those two together and I'm going to call this hidden since it's hidden by default. So we'll expand paging and drop that down into our paging. And this needs to be below our rampage container so it is hidden. So now if we swipe up, you'll see we have our trailers and our like button. So that's looking good. You can also do this for Ready Player One, but we're just going to be doing it for this image. The last thing we need to do is the tap icon. And for that, we're going to go with a tap trigger. And I'm going to select our heart. So we're going to open up hidden and then find our heart, which is this one. I'm going to call this heart underscore gray. And then I'm going to change the origin to center. And by default, the opacity is going to be 100%. So when we tap on our heart underscore gray, we want to change the opacity of that to zero. Then we're also going to make the red one appear. So I'm going to create a new scene, go to file, import, Adobe XDCC, grab our heart artboard, and then import that. We're just going to select the heart, copy that, and back in scene one, paste that in. And we'll name this heart underscore color. Inside of paging, I'm going to drag this right above heart underscore gray. And then also, we need to set its original state to 0% opacity. And then here in the tap, we also need to change that to 100% when the gray one is selected. So if we preview, we swipe up, we select there, it turns to red, and we have everything like that. So now what we need to do is when we tap this, we want this icon up here to change, show a notification. So let's do that now. So if I go back to scene four, I can grab the ellipse, and the number one, group those together, and I'm gonna call this note if for notification, command C on that, and then in scene one, paste that in, and then we can change the origin and the opacity to zero. So next thing we wanna do is show that, so we can select note if, and set that to 100%. So if we preview, drag up, Select that, and we have our notification showing. So now let's reverse that. So if we click the red icon, we want that to go to gray, and we want to remove the notification. And to do that, we'll add the tap, select the colored heart. I'm going to select everything in this gray tap, copy those inside of here, paste those in. 
And then we just need to change the values on the opacity to the exact opposite of what they are. So everything needs to go to zero except the gray, which needs to become 100. And now if we click preview, we swipe up, we click there, we click, you'll see it goes back to gray and that works. Swipe down and we can keep swiping back and forth. If we don't like it. There we go. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this two-part video showing you how to design and prototype in Adobe XD and Protopie Studio, a movie application. If you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more UI-related content, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.